All right, so we're going to do a little help for you with median mode on project two. Now the median mode, to keep a running median, you have to have all of the data. You can't just remember part of it like you can with a running average. Because I could have, say, 5 and 7 and 10, and I've got a median of 7. But then if 17 zeros come in, the median is 0. But you don't know that unless you save all the data. So one thing we could do is we could keep all the data that we want, like, like I just said, uh, 5, 7, 10, let's say 15, 21. And I could keep this in the vector. I could sort it. Every time I add things to it, I could sort it. And I'd spend way too much time sorting it. Now, if we want a median, if we've got an odd number of values, it's always the middle one. If there's an even number of values, then it would be the middle two that we average. But still, having a vector full of values that we're maintaining in sorted order is going to take too long. Well, one thing we could do is we could say, well, hey, how about if instead of having one big vector, let's make two smaller vectors, 5, 7, 10, 15, 21, 23. So I'll take the big sorted vector and the little sorted vector, and I'll take the me median of those two values. Well, now I've traded sorting one big vector for sorting two smaller vectors, still too much time. But what I'm really interested in is having the biggest of the small values and the smallest of the big values. So instead of having two vectors to store each half, I could have two what? Think about what this project is all about in terms of data structures. And then you just have to make sure that the small half and the large half are actually either the same size or we don't want them to be different by more than one in size. So if I've got three and three or four and three or three and four, I'm fine. But if I get up to, say, five and three, I've got to rebalance it to have four and four. So that's the basic idea of it. If you want to do a Google search, look for fast, median, and hey, what's our data structure in Project 2?